Hey there, this is Samuel from Pomfort. Today at NAB 2017, uh, we have a new product out called Silverstack Lab, which actually is responsible of data management and daily creation in one. Uh, so let me quickly walk you through that. So basically, what we have is Silverstack um, that actually is used on SAT for data management. So copying security and establishing a whole metadata library uh, of everything, of uh, all the assets that you have. And with the dailies workflow, we now included audio. So you can also bring audio assets into Silverstack and basically auto-sync them together to then forward into, into dailies creation. So let's take a quick look how that works. The first step would be getting all your assets in. So you will basically have different bins of source video and audio clips. And then you could already start audio syncing. To do that, you would go to the audio bin, uh, to the video bin actually, and uh, hit the sync audio button and choose the audio bin. Then Silverstack would automatically match all of the video, the audio clips to the video clips based on time code. When you hit sync, you will have the audio clips all down here. So from that point on, you could then already go into review and play back the clips and check the sync position with your slate. In the next step, you could either bring in the looks from our other application LiveGrade or actually establish looks right in Silverstack. So you want to change to the look panel and be presented with, a, with the look interface where you can then adjust the look of the, look of the image based on CDL and LUT controls. You would then go forward, for example, with a new feature we have, the grid view where you would select multiple clips and be able to and be able to uh, to see all of them in a grid view to compare the look. You could change the different clips and then adjust the look for them. When you're set up with the QC, then you would go to the configurations tab where you would establish your uh, would establish your transcoding configuration. We with Silverstack Lab, uh, Lab would basically uh, improve the transcoding speed uh, with a whole new transcoding engine and uh, with a transcoding to multiple destinations and different res resolutions at a time. So in this side panel here, you uh, will basically adjust the transcoding settings. Um, and already see a preview of the image in the middle. So basically, if you, for example, add overlays, like video timecode burn-ins or clip name burn-ins, you would already see it in the preview and would be able to, to reposition that in the frame as you want. Uh, you could also add watermarks and, um, and basically bake in the look into your dailies. So after establishing all the different transcoding configurations, you would go into the actual transcoding wizard where you would then choose the source you want to transcode and then be able to add multiple destinations. So I think a good example would be a combination of DNX HD. We do a DNX trans uh, transcoding for Avid and uh, 720p H.264s. After having all that set up, you can hit start render job and then the render, stop jo uh, the render job starts and actually um, uh, runs in the background. So the render job goes to the jobs panel and will basically run in the background and will always give you a, a good overview of the status and the FPS that is running through. Um, after the job is done, 
you will basically automatically receive the transcoded clips in the library so that they are part of the library already and Silversec can help you to see if you transcoded everything um, and if the transcode actually came out right and you will all, uh, also be able to back them up securely with their Silversec capabilities then. Um, so this is basically the daily's workflow how we imagine it to be in Silverstack Lab. Thanks for your attention.